into part two of the now that I am born again then what so the second thing that you have to do as a new born again Christian is to read your Bible you have to read your Bible like a lot whether you understand or you don't understand just read just read because one day when the Holy Spirit speaks to you he's going to take you back to the word and then you're going to remember oh I once read something like this in the scripture or when he gives you like um, a prompting in your heart and if you want to make sure that you hear it correctly because you're going to need a confirmation then you're just gonna go to the word and you're gonna remember oh I read this so it's always good that um, now that you're born again you read your Bible uh, listen to the audio Bible in your phone download the audio Bible this um, I use you version because then there's a lot of versions uh, my favorite is NLT which is um, KJV is obviously number one it's better like to know what exactly what they meant and then um, uh, NLT it's I understand it's much better and then if I need um, more simplified I go to Amplified Bible uh, and then uh, the message just for fun I read the message Bible as well uh, then the good news is also fun to read um, which one? Um, I think that's all for, for me the one that I read um, but you need like a paper Bible you need a paper Bible a book Bible um, so what I do mostly when I'm reading while the audio is playing then I'm following in my book Bible if there's anything that stands out for me I just highlight it uh, it makes it easier as well to read because then I'm just reading, 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 reading. You are not really studying. You, I, I'm reading, and then when it's studying, it's different. With studying, it could be a chapter, it could be a scripture that you will take and then just ponder on it and read it and actually let it soak, sit on it. But as a new born again person, you have to start uh, with the book of Matthew. Mark, Luke, and John. Those are the best because then they tell you about the life of Jesus Christ. They give you the genealogy of Jesus Christ, how he started his ministry, the miracles he did, and everything. And you probably have heard some of these things, uh, or maybe you're not really like newly born again. You have been born again before, and you backslid it, and now you're back home, which is you are welcome. Welcome back home to the family of Christ. So just familiarize yourself with the word of God. Because there is three beings that speaks to us, right? It's our flesh, which is us, our mind. Um, and then it's the Holy Spirit, which is when you read the Bible, when a thought just drops in your mind. And then um, with him, you always go back to the word. And then if whatever you find in the word, he has said it in your mind, then you know, okay, it is the Holy Spirit. And then you can pray more on it and ask him to confirm using another person. And then you know you're good to go. And there is the devil. The devil also speaks to us. He speaks in our minds, he speaks in our thoughts, and then just have you do some things that you wouldn't want to do. Um, yes, he can also use the scripture because, I mean, he was the right-hand man of God. So he knows the Bible very well. So he's going to try and trick you using the scriptures. Now that everything is in the Bible, it doesn't mean you can do some of the things that are in the Bible. But um, this is just so you know how to differentiate um, the voices, your own voice, um, God's voice, and the devil's voice. Because the voice that you need mostly to speak in your life, actually all the time, is the voice of the Holy Spirit. Your voice and the devil's voice, they do not matter. 